will show a script that creates a purchase order in Dynamics 365. First, we need to add a new script, select the project, and type in the name of the script. Click Create, then Start and Record. Hit Record, and let's start going through the process. Let's go to Accounts Payable, All Purchase Orders, and then create a new one. We need to type in Vendor Account Number. Click OK, and then select Item Number. Let's change the delivery date, and then confirm the purchase order. After the purchase order is confirmed, we can create a product receipt. We need to type in product receipt number, document date, and terms of payment. Then hit OK. After the product receipt is posted, we can create an invoice for this purchase order. First, we need to type in invoice number and invoice description. Then let's change the dates. And let's match product receipt. Let's update match status and post the invoice. After the invoice is posted, we can close the forms and save the script. The script is saved and to make it more interesting, let's use values from an Excel file and number sequences in the script, instead of the values we entered during the recording. In order to do that, we need to first attach the Excel file to the script. Once we've done that, we need to find the steps where we want to use the data from the Excel and in the value field, select picker then data source, Excel sheet where our data is, and then lastly, the name of the column in the file. So let's use the data from the Excel for vendor account, item number, and invoice description. Okay, we'll also need a unique number for product receipt and invoice numbers. So let's assign number sequences to those steps in order to make sure that the script will execute with unique numbers each and every time. Let's go to step 13, where the value of product receipt is entered and select picker, sequence and one of the predefined number sequences. Let's do the same with invoice number. And now that we've got everything ready, let's play the script. The script will now replicate the exact steps we recorded earlier with the addition of entering the values for vendor account, item number and invoice description from the Excel file we attached and the script will also use number sequences we assign to product receipt and invoice number values. Let's see how it works. Vendor account is entered from the Excel and so is the product number. Product receipt is created by the number sequence. And we can see the same things happens with invoice number. The value is entered from the number sequence Invoice description is entered from the Excel file. The invoice is now posted, so the script executed just like we wanted. And now if we want, we can play the script again or change the date in the Excel file and execute the script with different values.